Question number eight, Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, when, if at all, did Cabinet approve the timing of the Air New Zealand sell-down and what directions did Cabinet give the shareholding minister? Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, in December 2011, Cabinet confirmed the Crown would sell down its shareholding as part of the mixed ownership programme announced nearly a year earlier. On the 2nd of September 2013, Cabinet authorised joint ministers comprising the Prime Minister, the Minister of Finance, Associate Minister of Finance Joyce and the Minister for State-Owned Enterprises to determine the final timing of the, uh, the transaction. Under this authorisation, joint ministers made the final decision on the timing of the transaction on Friday the 15th of November, subject to the appointment of joint lead managers and determining the transaction structure. The Air New Zealand sell-down occurred on 19th of November and was highly successful. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Why was no formal approval uh, not sought for the timing of the transaction worth hundreds of millions of dollars? Uh, or was it a case of Mr English uh, having a drink on the Friday night and deciding to flog them off? Order. That, so I'm going to ask the member to ask that question again, but the last bit just does not help the order there. So we can just have the factual question. I think the member stands a far better chance of getting an answer yes to him. Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. To the minister. Order. Order. <laughs> Sensitive. Why was the formal cabinet approval not sought for the timing of a transaction worth hundreds of millions of dollars, or is it the case that Minister English on Friday night decided to flog the shares off? It's not greatly improved by that, but anyway, Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, the member was simply not listening to the first answer to the question. I invite him to do so, because the idea of supplementaries is you expand on the answer of the first question. So, Mr Speaker, the key point is that Cabinet approved the, tran Watch what you say, Chucky. the transaction to take place, but the timing of the transaction was actually delegated to joint ministers, the Prime Minister, the Minister of Finance, the Associate Minister of Finance and the Minister for State-Owned Enterprises. Ministers took the decision after 5pm the Friday to make the decision to proceed. So, supplementary question, Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Given his answer yesterday in this House, that he would not have to go, quote, crawling to foreign bankers to fund debt. Could he please explain from whom he is borrowing the current $424 million per month from? Yeah. <laughs> Honourable Stephen Joyce. And uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the, the Minister of Finance, I look at the primary question, and I appreciate the members run out of supplementaries because I've asked, answered the question, but actually the debt question has got nothing to do with the primary question. And, I, and I'm going to certainly accept that as an answer. Supplementary question, Honourable Clayton. Supplementary, Mr Speaker. With regard to the Air New Zealand sell-down, has he seen the statement of a share broker published in the Christchurch Press today who describes the sell-down of Air New Zealand as, quote, what another bloody debacle, unquote, and forgive the uh, invective, uh, sir, but it is a direct quote, and if so, does he now acknowledge that along with Kiwi mums and dads, the big end of town also believes he stuffed this transaction up? Uh, Mr Speaker, the Honourable Labor Party, Stephen Joyce. the Labor Party, the party of stockbrokers. That's what we have now, Mr Speaker. Again, the member needs to make up his mind. Either we're making too much money or not enough money, but he needs to stop actually arguing it around. And the reason I'm answering it in this way, Mr Speaker, is you heard the question. Oh, no, up to you. Order. Supplementary. Supplementary question. Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. To the Minister, how will he make up the shortfall on his asset sales target? Will he forego building the mythical schools and hospitals he promised? Or will he go, quote, crawling to foreign bankers, unquote, to borrow the money to make up the shortfall? Yeah. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, the reality is the government has a net crown debt of $60 billion. If we did not do these sales, that number would be four, four billion now and five billion higher, Mr. Speaker. The question is actually for the opposition: is are they promising to borrow the money to buy the shares back? And if they're not, the rest of it's all wind. 
Question number nine. Question number nine. Order. Question number nine. Nikki Wagner. Thank you, Mr.